All right, citizens one and all, welcome back to more Fallout 76. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the scoreboards. So we're going to spend most of the time in the menus. Scoreboard season three. I cannot believe we're on the third season already. I am liking this one probably the most so far. There are a few things I still wish would change, but we'll cover those at the end of this. So to start out with, you have a nice new player icon, the Turbo Furt Fertilizer Grenades, the Perfect Bubble Gum, which now seems like a redundant item. It prevents hunger or thirst for an hour, but since they took away the negative effects of being hungry, it doesn't matter anymore. First nice item to put in camp is the Antique Speed Bag. Looks awesome. And this is new. This is a additional item for those who have Fallout first, which I think is interesting. They need to spice these up a bit more if they really want Fallout first people to have a unique bonus. I would like to see that be something cooler. After that, we have the clean office cabinet, which looks amazing. I really like how that looks, I think. But that's just finally starting to realize that a lot of clean items are what we as the player base like. Uh, definitely, yeah, there's still a lot of camp builders and shelter builders around that enjoy that stuff. Then we have the vault bed, which is very nice too. Then it's the supply pack, which is something you can break over for some loot. Atoms, never will argue there. Caps, perfect. I normally save that until I really need caps and then claim it. And then we're at the basic repair kit. Then we have a Brotherhood player icon for, as a Fallout first bonus. Another supply pack. Sportsman paint for the shotgun. Doesn't look terrible. Work card pack, which I'm okay with now because that's free cards for the legendary points. Legendary script, very nice. Lunch boxes. I wish they'd take the weight away from these, honestly, since they're like something given to us. I don't use them that frequently. And then we start with the T45 paint. This looks pretty cool. Guild of Antiquities. Nice horse. The color is pretty good. I like that. But again, like every other season pass, they can break this up over each individual power armor. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. We have the Vault Nightstand, which looks decent. Not terrible. 150 atoms with another bonus of three lunch boxes. It seems like the frequency of that is about the same each time, like 8 to 10 levels. So then we're looking at Gold Bullion. And that's the first time, I, th I believe this season's the first time we've had Gold Bullion, so that's cool. And there's a picture frame, a perfect bubble gum again, but again, terribly redundant items since they changed how um hunger works so then the clean hospital bed very nice look a lot of the stuff is gonna look really cool in the shelters and this is new this season as well uh yasmin chowdery chowdery is a ally that you can have in your camp very cool it's a light ally where and that means that they'll have daily things to do but they won't send you on missions is my understanding of that so then perk card packs which again i'm fine with that that's free legendary tokens more lunch boxes then the t51 paint which looks good i like that vault desk very nice more atoms more caps and again with the caps you can hold on to those until you want to claim them until you need the caps and then this is a new thing this month this season as well is the backpack flare, which you can use to customize your backpack, which I think is really cool. They're definitely, that's that's a tip to the vanity that people like, so I like to see that, but a lot more vanity that I would love to see, and I hope they get there. So then we have the Inkwell's Quill, more perk cards, and then this nice, really nice floor for Fallout First members, which I like to see this. This is what I was talking about. I would love to see more reward for being fallout first i personally think it's a lot of money and i would love to see bethesda really shout out to those that want to pay more every month you know so hopefully they consider that and do that then legendary script more lunch boxes and we're at the excavator paint for the guild of antiquities looks good but definitely definitely looks slightly different there's no horse on this one based on the design of it we have the clean industrial fan. I really like the look of it. The thing looks massive. That's a full-sized wall, and the thing like covers up the whole wall. So I'll be curious to see how that looks in-game. Then 150 atoms, more gold bullion, ink wells, quill paint. Don't know. That's for baton. Okay, that's actually pretty cool looking. More bubble gum, 
a emote for the pictures, which is not bad. That's not my thing, but I think a lot of people like that stuff. And the black mat, I really like the look of this one. Very, very cool. I don't know if that's just an actual mat or if that's a floor square. I'm thinking it's an actual mat. Very neat looking. That'll add a lot of detail to those that want it for their workbenches, etc. So then more lunch boxes. The T60 Guild of Antiquities paint. Very nice. More Adams. Another light ally. Very cool. I like that. Then more lunch boxes as a Fallout first bonus. More Adams. I feel like there's a few more Adams this month than there had been last month. Maybe that's me. More caps. A clean toilet, which I know we've been begging for for eternity. Uh, it'd be nice to actually make a decent looking bathroom. I definitely grew tired of the nasty, unkempt looking toilet that's in the game currently. Then more perfect bubble gum. Definitely a terrible filler slot. Her card pack. Settlers special paint for the 10 millimeter doesn't look terrible. Or lunch boxes. X01 paint for the Guild of Antiquities. I'm curious how it's going to look in the end because that has the horse, but this doesn't again, so I don't know what that's about. Vault aisle floors white. That looks very clean. I really like that. Or Adams or Legendary Script. Very nice. Scrap kits. That is a player icon. That looks cool. Legendary modules. That's a first as well. Now that I think about it, I think we have gotten gold before. We have gotten gold before, but we've not gotten legendary modules before, I don't think. So then we have the perk card pack and a helmet for Fallout first members only. Vintage tackle box. That is a loot box. That looks really cool. More bubblegum. Ultrasite paint. Not a bad look at all than the vintage shelter wallpaper it's called for use in the camp or shelter. I really like that. Then we're going up. More atoms, more gold. Screaming Eagle wood skin for the handmade rifle. That does look nice. I like that. Legendary modules again. Very, very nice wallpaper or uh, excuse me, floor there. It looks really good. I'll be happy to use that one. More perk card packs. I know everybody's very, very excited about this item, and I do think it looks mighty cool. This is a uh, vendor skin. I really like it, but you cannot pull it, place it in the shelter, unfortunately. Lunch boxes, a T65 power armor paint, which again looks good. I don't like that they stretch it out like that, but okay. More gold bullion. Adams and lunch boxes for Fallout first. Legendary script. Vault fireplace. Looks awesome. Very nice. Scrap kits. I'm on the fence about those. I use them every season. I'm lazy. I use them all up. So I, instead of going back to camp, I use every single one of them. Then we've got the jumping emote. Her card pack. Armor ace flare. I, 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 again, I like the flares, but I'm afraid it's going to be turned into another microtransaction item. So hopefully they don't do that. More perfect bubblegum. The Vertigard jetpack, which I think everybody is losing their minds over. Very cool item. I'm very curious to see how it works in game. Scavenger station gold. Yes, because why not? You know, I like the look of that. 150 atoms, more gold. Inkwell's backpack. Very neat. Good skin. For more repair kits, I feel like it's more this month than normal. Residential paint for the Gauss rifle. Very nice. Perk coins times 50. Maybe that's a first this month. I don't know. I, I Something here is a first. It's either the modules or this. I'm not sure which. Then we have the clandestine service paint for the T65. Not bad. I believe we had seen that item before in the Atom Shop. I'm not positive. So interesting. Guild of Antiquity Stein to continue adding to your Stein uh, display. Very cool. More lunch boxes. AD Inkwell outfit. Very cool. Vault door, which this one for me at rank 99 just does not taste good. I don't like this as a choice. So, Bethesda, please try harder for rank 99. This is something we all drive for. We want more than a vault door. The glass, for example. Amazing Ring 99 unlock, but the Vault Door, not so much. Then the last thing is the Scribe of Avalon bundle, which is 
the Vertigard Power Armor, which looks amazing. The game board. And then 500 atoms. That's only three atoms this month. I feel like they've done better in the past on this final piece. So overall, there's a, there's a handful of items in here I really like. But again, I, I feel like they just missed the boat a little bit for me personally. But in other news, we're going to call it there. It always takes forever to walk through that board. 100 slots. I really hope that in the future, they do better with the vanity items specifically. But... Till next time, y'all take care and enjoy the wasteland. Good night.